run. It was Grant Setnicker and Itchy's My Choice that took out the Open Classic Challenge at the 2017 Summer Spectacular. The pair marked a 2.29. Congratulations to you, Grant. Thank you. Thank you very much. How did it feel the moment that you finished that run? It felt, it felt unreal. Um, I didn't really know... You know, like when you, you have so much adrenaline going and stuff like that, I knew I knew it was a, it was a good run. I knew I had a lot of a lot of stops and turns. It was it was a bit wild at times. Um, I might have been a little kind of out of whack here or there, um, but that horse just covers it up so well. Um, and you know, I just she felt like uh, after the first cow that she was really trying hard, and so I. Um, I tried to just not mess it up and let her do it, and luckily she was she was uh, right there with me. And I'm I'm very 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 fortunate to have um, Lloyd and B Lloyd Cox and Boyd Rice out front, and um, Chris Johnsrud and T.J. Good are in the corners. And I do this thing when I show that horse where when I walk across the timeline, I go deaf and blind. And um, I get so n nervous on that horse because I know that horse has the ability to, to, to mark a big score. And so really the only variable is, is me. And so um, I just tried not to mess it up, uh, try not to take, take myself out, take her out of the cut. And, and um, but those TJ and, and Chris and Boyd and Lloyd and everybody, they – they just did a great job of, of coaching me, you know, through the run and, and giving me encouraging, encouraging, encouraging things and, um, and telling me to slow down or when to go for it. And, you, he, you know, you, you hear stuff like that. It's funny, you know, it's so loud during the run, but it's also one of those things where things kind of slow down and, and get quiet. And you, it's funny when you're showing, you remember weird things and stuff. And I just remember um, the second cow I cut, was a dirty white horn cow, and um, the only thing we talked about, or the only thing we said about that cow, is that we hated it and it was crazy. And as I'm cutting it, I'm like, "Oh, this is great, you know, way to go." And you know, like any one of those horses tonight could have could have won the finals, could have marked that score. And um, Sometimes that white horn cow is going to run you over. Sometimes it bounces away from you and awesome is, is awesome. So it's just, I think, I really think, you know, it's none of those horses or guys. It's no mistake. They made the finals. Everyone's awesome. And like I said, I always consider myself an underdog. And I still, everywhere I go, like my goal is to just make the finals. And kind of when it's your day, it's your day. And um, I'm just, I'm just really uh, happy to, to still kind of be competitive amongst those that that type of competition and well you've been extremely competitive on this horse the last time we spoke you just won the world and yeah. the horse at the time was a four-year-old which is very impressive what do you what's the magic between you do you think well it, it was a horse of the year but we hauled for the world so that was why it was right. it was unique I thought and you know the mayor the mayor felt maybe just a little tired towards the end of the year last year and and What's cool is this is it's her first show back s since last year, and so um, she's she's one of those horses that um, she to me she feels like she's gotten bigger and stronger, and she, she feels I don't know she felt awesome last year too, but um, maybe I, maybe we just trust each other more or whatever it is. But she just feels um, very healthy, and I, you know, in this competition at this level, the way I try to explain it to people is, you kind of almost got to put your horse in a bind, meaning like take a risky cut or just put them in a tough spot, and a really really good horse will will get you out of a bind, and and those are what the great ones do, and she does that all the time for me, and um, it's. Like I tell people, she listens to me all the way up until the point when I'm wrong, and um, I just it's it's been it's been really really fun to have her back, and um, I am really fortunate to have I had Holy Cow Texas uh, Jimmy Barros. I had both two other horses in the finals that are very nice horses as well, but I just. Um, you know, I guess when it's kind of kind of your day, it's your day. 
So for those of us who will probably never ride a horse like that, describe to us what it's like, a big, stopping, powerful horse. You know, it's it's she's one of those horses that um, it it really it, it it's a it's a cool feeling because she has such a, such a big reach across the cow that um, a lot of times you kind of stay in the middle of the pin and she because she goes and stops the cow and just waits and then the cow goes and then she goes and stops it goes and stops it and um it's just kind of one of those one of i think she's kind of a once in a million horse and um i'm just so thankful for constance and j5 and chubby turner found her as a two-year-old and they were beaming tonight oh yeah i'm they're you know constance has been so awesome about um you know the, the mare's healthy now and she stepped off her last year so we could go for the horse of the year title and and then this year you know the kind of the deal is if, if i have some some bad luck in the open or something then she'll maybe buy a slot and show her and um so it's just one of those things that uh I, the way i look at it through constance's eyes is you have like a ferrari in your garage and and you don't drive it and it's a very selfless thing for her to do, and it's it's awesome. So, you know, hats off to her for, and she she swore that she enjoys watching her just as much as riding her, and so she did. She looked like a proud mother up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm I, I'm just um, I, it, you don't have people like that every day that have that outlook, and and we as always we just want what's best for the horse and. Um, she's not going to do anything halfway, and so it's it's one of those deals where um, if you're going to show her, she's going to give 110 percent. So no matter if we just show her a little bit or it's it's always going to be you know a hard run. And um, she's she, Constance knows that, and and it's just it's just fun to to just to walk down there and have the ability to you know if you do your job, you have a chance to win. So Grant, tell us what does it feel like to have your first major title here in the Will Rogers? It feels it feels amazing. Um, I I never you know I never I like I said I I always just try to make the finals and um, I was I was kind of extra nervous tonight because up until I went there were a, a bunch of any horse is a threat in that group and I was just. Uh, I had this feeling of like they're the judges I thought they did a, a great job as far as placing the runs and stuff and I thought they I felt like they were just kind of waiting for a big run and um, like I said it, I cut a cow that nobody told me to cut or that we didn't we all didn't want to cut and it, it worked out you know as as good as everybody wants to think they are there is a huge element of luck in this deal and you know, tomorrow I could do the same thing and that cow could run me over. But I guess for whatever reason, tonight was my night. And um, I I don't even, you know, it, it, it's it's just a, it's just a sur surreal, ugh, surreal feeling, sorry. And um, I, it's, it hasn't even sunk in yet, for sure. You got some celebrating ahead of you to do. Congratulations to you, Grant. Thank you very much.